Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you why DHT is not the only cause of hair loss. In fact, it's only one step in a larger process. If you have male pattern baldness, this is worth understanding to help you stop the hair loss at the real root cause. Let's get into it. So, you'll often hear people claim that there is only one cause of hair loss, and that's DHT. This may have been defensible position about 30 years ago, but today it's pretty clear that it's not the case. For starters, if the only cause of hair loss was DHT miniaturizing the hair follicles then, blocking it through dutasteride, the most powerful DHT blocker should completely reverse hair loss. But it does not. Up to about 50% of men who take dudasteride will see no noticeable regrowth whatsoever. We also know that balding scalps show extensive changes that take place alongside the hair follicle miniaturization process. It becomes chronically inflamed and hardened, and then the spaces between the follicles become replaced with microscopic scar tissue called fibrosis. The fibrosis gradually grows over the years until, in the end, it takes over the spaces previously occupied by the follicles themselves. Blood circulation to balding scalp is also severely compromised. Compared to men with healthy hair, the blood flow of those with early pattern baldness is up to about 2.6 times lower. These problems with blood flow don't extend to the entire scalp, but only to those areas that are actively balding. What can we make of all this? Well, while DHT is certainly involved in hair loss, it's becoming more and more clear that the correct way to view it is as a key component of a much wider process. Remember the inflammation we talked about earlier? There is compelling evidence that the chronic inflammation in the scalp triggers the overactivation of DHT. And the overactivation of DHT then promotes the activity of signaling molecules that promote fibrosis. Chief among these is transforming growth factor beta 1 also known as TGF-beta-1. The combined presence of the overactive DHT and the TGF-beta-1 then drives the fiber optic buildup that we see in balding scalps. This, in turn, restricts the space available to the follicles to grow. It also reduces the supply of oxygen and other vital compounds to the scalp's tissue. The end result of this cascade of events is hair follicle miniaturization and baldness. Now, a good question is what causes inflammation in the first place? All the evidence suggests that the factor driving this inflammation is chronic tension of the scalp. This tension is a result of chronic contraction of muscles in the front and the back of the head. These two muscles are called the frontalis and the octopetalis muscles, respectively. And they are linked to a sheet of connective tissue underlying the scalp, so-called gallia apuneurotica. Scientists have mathematically modeled the tension in the various parts of the gallia, and the results show an astonishing correlation with the propensity to baldness. Those parts with the highest tension, notably those underlying the temples, are the first to go bald. Parts with intermediate tension, like the rest of the hairline and the crown, follow the temples. The parts with the least tension are the last to go bald, and parts of the head that are not directly overlying the gallia never go bald. Statistically, the chances of being a coincidence are less than one in 1,000. So, relieving this tension would seem like the most effective way to reduce inflammation. The resulting reduction in inflammation would then gradually reverse the fibrosis and eventually achieve a long-lasting increase of blood flow to the scalp. One way to do this is with injections of muscle relaxants to the scalp. The injections paralyze the surrounding muscles, leading them to a prolonged state of relaxation that lasts for months at a time. The result is a relief of chronic scalp tension. Even with one session of these muscle relaxant injections can be enough to freeze the progression of hair loss and induce regrowth. You can see here the results of 24 weeks into the start of the treatment. Taken together, the evidence from several published studies suggests that the treatment is nearly 20% more effective in terms of regrowth compared to finasteride. Now, a way to improve these results even better is to also add a DHT blocker on top of the Botox. You then get long-lasting tension relief and increased blood flow while forcing an immediate reduction in DHT levels. This boosts regrowth even further. This isn't just speculation. As in 2020, we got the first study to test this hypothesis. A group of 63 men with baldness were randomly assigned to receive either only muscle relaxing injections to the scalp or in combination with oral finasteride. The combination group outperformed the injection only group by 15%. Now, while these injections are a fantastic way to relieve tension and restore blood flow, it has one massive drawback. You'll have to get it done at a doctor's office and the cost will run you up to many thousand dollars a year. So, unless money is not an issue for you, this is not the kind of treatment you can follow long term. An alternative to muscle relaxing injections is massaging your scalp. Just like massage stimulates blood flow to the arms and legs, it has the same effect on the scalp. 
On average, you will need 36 hours of massage to see results. So definitely not as quick as those injections. Now, if 36 hours of massage sounds a bit intimidating, a practical alternative is a clever new device called the grow band. This sits comfortably on your head and as it inflates and deflates over a cycle that lasts several seconds, it gently massages the entire scalp. Meaning you can get much quicker results compared to manual massages where you can only target one spot at a time. Also, the grow band is enjoyable and relaxing while also freeing up your hands so you can go about your daily activities as normal. By boosting blood flow and breaking down fibrosis, by boosting blood flow and breaking down fibrosis organically, the grow band will strengthen your hair and give long-term gains that no medication can match, all completely free from side effects. The grow band really is the only solution on the market that gets to the root cause of male pattern baldness. Remember that chronic inflammation from scalp tension leads to the cascade of biochemical process that eventually causes hair follicle miniaturization. Head over to HairGuard to check out the latest iteration of the Grow Band, our very own Grow Band Pro. So that's it for this video. Please like and subscribe. And if you've got a question or comment, leave it below and we will get back to you. Thanks guys, see you in the next one.